get this working. I'm just going to give it a little bit, guys, to let people join. It was kind of a, a challenge to get this together this morning, to get batteries charged and everything. I got a cup of coffee somewhere. Let me get to that. It is early in the morning. I've barely woke up. There's still no power here. So we're just going to, I'm going to make my coffee while people join into the stream. We'll see how long the stream will last. Yesterday, things weren't dependable and batteries were finally getting charged. So sorry I didn't get to you yesterday. It's busy cleaning up, fixing stuff. Obviously, I got through the storm. The house is all right. A few missing shingles. One broken window pane on this side of the house. I think there's more on the other, but my apartment is on this side. Try, I was going to try and make a video and then upload it about all this, but power's going to be out for a few days, maybe up to 10. Pretty hard hit in this neighborhood. Other neighborhoods already have their power on, but people I know in those neighborhoods don't have internet yet. Today's goal is to see if I can find a place to upload because uploading through the phone without a way to recharge the phone is not going to happen today. I do have a, an awesome video that I shot right before the storm was coming in Wednesday morning in Grand Isle. I was on the pier. I left Grand Isle around 5 something a.m. in the morning, so I was out there all night with Jared and Craig, but not the Craig that you know, not the, the normal Craig on my channel, another Craig you don't know. We were out there on the pier slamming the bulls. It was just one big boy after another. Let's see where we at with this coffee. Put more in there. Yeah, it's a big video. Not going to be able to upload it through the phone. Got to find a place to upload it because I really want to get it out there to you. But I really wanted to just get in touch with you and let you know that I am okay. Just don't have power. And it's going to be a while before I do get power. And then we'll have to see what's up with the internet because Cox and Entergy is just everywhere fixing stuff. I mean, it was just a category two. It came in fast, faster than they predicted and earlier than they predicted. It didn't stay long like first the first bit lasted maybe 45 minutes to an hour the wind was pretty bad it, the house was doing this going back and forth in some of those gusts and then the eye came and when the eye came i got outside because usually when the eye is passing over you it's nice and calm and i got outside to look at stuff to assess damage you might maybe do some cleanup. I had to run down the street with the sawzall and cut a tree out of the road. Just a couple blocks down from this house. And then I got back in the house right as it was starting to rain again. You know, the, the storm was coming back. And that's when I, the wind on the second part was the worst. When the, that was definitely the worst, but it didn't last long. It was maybe 20 to 30 minutes or maybe less. But man, the house was just shaking violently. That's when the window went. And then we had a stampede of dogs through the, out of the bedroom, through the kitchen and going into the bathroom to hide and had to run into the bedroom and move stuff because the wind and the rain was coming through. And then I scrambled about and boarded up that to make it safe. That was probably the worst thing. A few missing shingles and a broken window pane, but there were other things out in the neighborhood that were far worse than what I suffered. I don't really think I suffered. It was just a couple of minor things. So yeah, there were telephone poles that got broken into like two to three pieces somewhere in the neighborhood. I think a telephone pole went down to someone's house, lots of trees down, limbs down, stuff like that. Hopefully we get our power back on here pretty soon. 
we got to get that some milk. And that's my other concern is stuff in the fridge. Now it's still really cold. It's not like, like it's hot today. We had a cold front come in right after this hurricane. So it's nice and chilly outside. It would be bad if it was really hot in the house. So I'm not too worried. I think stuff in the freezer is still good. That's packed with ice. Stuff in the refrigerator is not warm. Might be having a feast here if it, if it does go for 10 days. Like first they were saying three to five for the worst hit areas. Now they're saying up to 10. Good thing is I got friends in other neighborhoods where they have power. So worse come to worse, I can just shuffle some uh, frozen meat and other things over to their fridges and freezers. Maybe might not have to though. I want to fish too. My friend Scott, who owns a botanical, or not a botanical, I'm sorry, a, uh, he owns a shop in the quarter. He does a... Uh, looks like we're back. Like I was saying earlier, we're going to try this as long as we can. It's We're going to lose signal here and there. It's not that dependable right now. Not yet. We're not 100% back here. These dogs are 100% back. They're barking at something. Yes, Tulsa. I got to finish waking up, guys, because there's stuff I want to do. Oh! We're back, we're back totally. The comments just came back up. Thanks guys, I see a lot of positive comments here. Uh, I'm not gonna get a generator. <laughs> if I, it's, it's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea, it's just, <clears throat> I'm just not getting one right now. Let's look at some other comments. Hmm. Just lost the comments. Might end up losing this stream again here in a second. Oh! Lots going on this morning. Like I was trying to tell you, Scott, who owns the hydroponic shop on Frenchman, wanted to fish with me last night. That was just not going to happen. Maybe, maybe it could happen tonight, but we are in the middle of a cold front. It is a full moon as well. Halloween is tomorrow night. So we'll see. I really want to fish. I want to get out to the river and see what it looks like. I'm watching. I'm, things are getting weak here. I might lose you guys again. I don't want to, but there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, some, sometimes it, I'm torn between things, either go or deal with things at hand. And there are a lot at hand, but we're going to keep you with me. We're going to shoot video about it. I just couldn't do it until now because now i have a source for charging batteries and I, I have a bit of more of a mind for it so we might end this stream here in a second because those dogs are waking up all the uh, neighbors who don't wake up early but whatever if they can't take a joke you know what to say right so I think I just need to end this stream and keep drinking my coffee and get on with my day. But I think that I'm going to just try to do this a little bit more since I can't really upload videos at the moment. We are going to go somewhere and charge this phone back up and we'll do another live stream later on today. 
might live stream some fishing if I can get to it. Otherwise, we're going to live stream some other things in the neighborhood, other things I have to go do, because there are people who want my help right now for dealing with like damage and cleanup and stuff like that. So I might go help some friends, might go fishing, but we'll do some other live streams. Just need to finish waking up. All right, I hope all you guys are safe and take care and I will see you next time.